Hey guys, what's going on? I am here with another Clipper review and this time we have the Kemi. These are the, I believe these are the 1987s. Um, if you look right here, you can see they come in silver, but they also come in this like gold plated, which is what attracted me to them. I can't read Chinese, so don't expect me to be able to do that. Um, and obviously they check which one I have which is good. This is everything that comes inside. We're gonna open it up right now. But uh, we're gonna do a quick unboxing. I'm also gonna do a demonstration on how these work and then uh, I'll give you my final thoughts at the end after I've used them for uh, a week or two. Um, I believe reviews like this definitely deserve more than a few haircuts. You learn a lot about machines after t a couple of weeks of use because um, you never know what the build quality is gonna be like. So. Let's unbox this. So here we go right here. We have the actual clipper itself, which looks fantastic in my opinion. I love it. It's one of the reasons why I decided to pick this up. If you haven't, uh, if you don't know already, it is a wireless clipper. So that is a huge bonus. Comes in that. Wow. This is an all metal clipper right here. We're gonna put this right here and see what else is in the box. But man, so impressed so far aside we have our charging brick we have some spare clips right here looks like a quick start menu giving you a little information about the whole unit itself and we get a little brush here I would use this for doing any kind of coloring or something on somebody's beard oh so we're gonna take a quick look around this Let's see if it has any charge. Let's put this up here. So it's already at 100%, which is good. I'm still gonna give it a full night's charge before I use it. Again, this feels really good in the hands. It actually looks a little bit bulkier in, um, like from just looking at the picture, but it's really not. It's actually slimmer than I uh, imagined. It does have a good grip to it. I like the fact that it has this blade. It's kind of like a little, you know, I love the little two-tone between the the uh, brush aluminum and then the gold plate. But, you know, time will tell if this is actually a good blade or not. What I do like, and I'm already noticing right now, is that this has a nice long throw. A lot of these Chinese clippers, a lot of times, you would get about that much. So if I show you right here, let me get that right there which let me try to get you a close up. Okay, so if you look, you can see what I mean by the, the throw. So it's the distance between the bottom blade and the top blade. Usually that's as far as it extend. This extends half halfway even more to that. So it looks like it's gonna be good for getting uh, between the one and and, uh, and the half. So doing a half and then going down to a one seems like it's gonna be perfect. So that is a huge plus. I'm already liking that feature. Here is an up close of it being 100%. So you got the indicator. Another reason why I went with this clipper is because of the indicator. It tells you how much power is left. I think with these kind of clippers being wireless, you definitely want that feature. And um, I think it's a bonus because you don't want to be guessing. You don't want to be using it halfway through a cut and it, it just dies on you. Um, I just, I don't like that. So that's why a lot of these clippers that are from the uh, Chinese companies, they use that and I think it's a good selling point. Now, I already have noticed, I already noticed that this bad boy is a fingerprint magnet. So you can definitely see I've already had to wipe it down. But you know, that's that's just normal use. Loving the handle of this, definitely feels substantial. Doesn't have the little ridges that uh, some of my other clippers have that kind of gives you a little feedback and little clicks, but uh, we can get over that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is actually, um, man, I really like the way this looks, is we're gonna use it. We're gonna cut with it. We're gonna see how well it works. Um, and then I'll give you my overall opinion 
uh, how well this thing works and if it's worth buying. Again, I was able to pick this up from AliExpress for about, I think it was like $35. Um, I have another one coming in and these are the cami versions. They do make this clipper in a bunch of different brands. This is just a standard uh, clipper that is being rebranded by several other companies. I, I have a couple of cami clippers already, so I, I'm kinda, I kinda trust them. So that's why I got these. Oh, right here it says Cami KM 1986Z. Um, so that's what it is. I wonder if I can get something like this customized. It'll be interesting to see if I could do that. Put my logo or something on there. But let's get to these haircuts now. This machine is legit. As you see, this ugly client of mine, he's still got a dope haircut. Because these machines are, are serious, they're good. The throw on them is perfect. I love the fact that it, let's see if it uh, no, it doesn't want to focus on that. But anyways, the, fo the uh, throw on it works good. Machines, weight and balance is really nice. Only thing I don't like is kind of like these ridges right here. Let me get out of the frame, but you can see right here. These ridges kind of, I don't know. It might get in the way a little bit, but overall it's a good clipper. Highly recommend it. I'll leave a link down in the description, so make sure you uh, pick one up for yourself. So I'm coming to my conclusion, and I have to say these things work out perfectly. I love the way they look, obviously. It's the first thing that attracted me to the clipper, but the price, I mean, you can't beat a, um, a clipper that's this uh, sub forty dollars, you know what I'm saying? We're looking at between. I've seen it as low as twenty eight dollars, and as high as forty five at like AliExpress. The downside would be that these things do not, and, I, and this is a problem. I have not seen them on Amazon, AliExpress, and eBay is definitely where you're gonna end up finding these things, which mean, and this is why I mean this is a down downgrade or this is a negative I have to say because you have to wait about three to four weeks to get these things in um, the price is great but having to wait three or four weeks sometimes something you just want to get in your hands and be able to start cutting right away and you just have to be patient if you have that patient I'm gonna definitely leave a link down in the description so go check these out um, again my review of these are overall super positive Guys, if you want more detail on this, make sure you follow me on IG. I'll leave a link down in the description. That's where I'll do a little bit more of behind the scenes stuff where I get into a little bit more detail on a day-to-day -day basis between clippers. You could always DM me and ask me, you know, what I how I've been using these and if um, if anything has changed. Because this has been a, a, a couple of weeks in between the last time you saw me and I've done multiple haircuts. I've made this my main machine. And honestly, this one has been my main machine. This has been my go-tos. And the reason why I have not come out with a re review about this clipper is because it's a love-hate relationship with it. I, I, I just didn't, I, I can't recommend these right away because there has been some quality control issues with them. 
and I can't recommend something that you know you might have an issue with within a month or two or even six months like there's been battery issues like battery dying there's been um, some of the plastic has broken off on some of the other guys but it's one of those things that you gotta you're gonna have to um, decide you can get these on Amazon which I'll leave a link but it is what it is back to these I definitely highly recommend them. Build quality is fantastic. I have another one of these coming in, except for the more of the clone of the 1919s. This is like a mock of the 1919s that are a clone, and they just added a little bit more detail to it. So, battery life has been amazing. The battery life has lasted me a full day. It really, it's lasted me more than a full day. And it has a 25 milliamp um, battery in it, so it's really fantastic. The blade has been a, a surprising thing. I'm definitely gonna put a new blade in there just to see if there's anything different. A lot of times adding a new blade definitely changes the experience of cutting, but you can cut with this blade right off the rip. So uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I'm going to leave a link to these things down below. I hope that one day Amazon starts carrying these and uh, the day they do, just come back to this video and I have a link to that. Um, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and you will see uh, more Clipper reviews, see vlogs and much, much more. So make sure you tune in and uh, I'll see you around.